so me and Ben have been playing in bands for like 10 years now and Ryan was my neighbor growing up so uh, I think me and Ben were in a band and we like kind of broke up but we were still jamming and I invited Ryan over to jam because he had a drum set at his house and uh, that was like four years ago I think we used to always record in Steve's basement that's like how we did everything and then it was like it wasn't until Play Loud Die Volume 1 that we recorded in like an actual room that well it was my mom's dining room but it was like better than the basement because like the acoustics and everything and yeah it was nice my mom came home when we were recording so mad because it was so loud she said that we were going to cause permanent air, ear damage and uh, that, that was like I said my you're getting too old stop uh, we got the name Black Beach from just, uh, I don't know, I really like Black Sabbath and the Beach Boys and like Black Flag. I think all the, the coolest bands have those words in their name. So I decided to combine them. Be the coolest band. All right, so like you're renting out like Knights of Columbus halls, playing with like ripping hardcore bands, you know, and it's just nine kids. Bands yeah, nine like wicked heavy hardcore bands to a bill. Kids like kids just trying to smash each other in the face. Knights of Columbus always gave you free hot dogs. Yeah, there were hot dogs and Greasy soda. Hot. Anyway, so we started playing these like really strange like hall booked shows in the suburbs, and I think what really changed though in the South Shore is like. Or like got more momentum behind us was when we booked the basement shows at my mom's house. Yeah. And we played with this band Saber Two Zombie from California, and it just I don't know, kind of reinforced us, reinforced that we, like we were doing something right. And then, but like reality of it is like we changed when we came into Boston mainly. Okay. Like we, I think we just kind of took ourselves more serious at the band. Uh, the recording process for the new album was Converse Rubber Tracks mainly. We have thank them for that we went into Q Division and recorded the whole album in eight hours and then uh, I mixed it in my room and then pressed it to vinyl yeah I really don't think our sound has changed up to this record at all I think it was headed it was just headed there from the start and it's just us evolving constantly as we keep playing and our lives change around it um, so it just seems really natural I don't know Static Sounds take four
Middle East. Grotto. Chris Scott's fun. Yeah. Cantab. O'Brien's. I, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I fucking hate Club Bohemia. Uh, it's a good idea. It's a cool venue. It's basement-y. But it smells like piss, and the staff are fucking dickheads. And that's the <laughs> truth, dude. I asked him for drink tickets one time, and the guy laughed in my face and said, What do you think? You're playing the fucking garden? Uh, are you serious? I remember, like, two years ago, I went to the grotto to see Nice Guys play before I knew Nice Guys, and... I had my mind blown by that basement. That was incredible. Earthquake Party played. Nice guys. I forget who else. I got... It was just like an awesome experience. I met the Televibes there. It was just like one of my first shows, like DIY shows in Boston to go to. It was uh, it was really sweet to see so many kids involved in one house to make like a venue operate. I think when we started playing in Boston, we were exposed to a, like a lot more experienced musicians and bands that just had like a really good sound. And playing with so like playing with like people that were a lot more professional than us made us realize that like we can take ourselves more seriously and really like take our sound to another level. And I think just being in that like musical atmosphere really allowed us to evolve. When I was like in high school, I used to hear about all like the bands residing in Alston, and I never made it up here. And when I finally did, and I was like, I think there's a lot of venues and a lot of places to play, but like whenever I bring it up to like the older crowd, it's like they have all these venues that have come and gone that I guess were like way better. But you know, some of my favorite shows have ever have been at the Womb. Um, that was like a great place to play. But now like more and more are popping up and finding out about, which is like awesome. It's like home, it's like a musical metropolis, like there's so much, I, yeah, I couldn't even say the right thing about it, it's awesome. When I was like 17 or 18, me and Ryan saw like the second Nice Guys show on Rug Road, and we didn't know who it was, and I've been trying to figure out who that band was for like years now, because I was like, oh, they were pretty sweet, and I uh, ended up being Nice Guys, minus, minus Jake, yeah, he was on he's on vacation. Nice guys, except for Matt. Uh, we're we're huge Creatures fanboys. Midriffs. Um, Dinosaur. Earthquake Party. It's really hard for me to pick my favorite band in Boston because there's so many. Um, hang on though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a big fan of like Ursula and New England Pats and Pucker Up. They're fucking rad. And then, uh. Oh, fucking Gravel? Gravel is so fucking amazing. Gravel's been sick. They're from Salem. Say that again? Gravel is from Salem, but they're fucking sick. And they play Boston a lot right now. And. Who else? Oh, Marty Kings, which is like a super group. They're awesome. Anything that Andy McBain does actually is pretty awesome. Alright, so my favorite Boston band, I haven't seen them yet. Um, but my favorite Boston band is definitely Boston. Um, and it's like fucking, like that first album is pretty much a greatest hits. Like, well, dude, it's fucking you're, crazy. You're also describing the cars right now. Yeah, the cars cars are more like they were like I think they're from Westport. Like I don't know if their shit's like legit, but they are like they're real, dude. Boston, the cars, love you guys. Modern lovers, dude. Like Boston's musical roots run really deep. That shit's real.
Austin. <laughs>